two artillery bases are located at A and C. Uh, each of the bases uh, locates an enemy plane at point B. Uh, given the elevation angles in the figure, uh, so 743 meters across. Um, angles. Oh, these are the elevation angles. Okay. And then uh, the fact that the two bases are 743 meters apart. What is the distance uh, from the ba uh, from the base at point C to the airplane? So they're wondering how far is it from here to here, this line. So we'll call that our X. So to see what type of tool we should use in geometry, um, if you have an angle and its corresponding side, you want the law of sines. If you don't have that, if you don't have an angle and its corresponding side for at least one, uh, let's see, we're, we're going to be dealing with sine. Well, it doesn't matter. You could replace B with C. It's the same thing, right? Uh, if you don't have an angle and its corresponding side, if you have no complete pairs, then you probably want to go with the law of cosines. So right now, look, we have an angle. We don't know what the side is. We have an angle. We don't know what the side is. We have a side. We don't know what the angle is. It looks like law of sines is out, but if you use the fact that these should add up to 180, we can quickly find out that missing angle up there. 180 degrees subtracted by 82, subtracted by 77, 21 degrees is up here. And now we have a complete pair sine of that 21 divided by its corresponding side should equal sine of that pair we're trying to find. We want to know 77 and its corresponding side. So now we've got an equation set up. We've got something we can solve. Let's use our calculator, find out what the left side is equal to. 21 trig sine divided by 743. That makes Oh man, zero. So in case you haven't seen this before, this is like even shorter notation than scientific notation. This is times 10 to the negative fourth. So this is 0 0.000, because it's four places, 48233. 48233, three. we'll round here. Right, that's scientific notation for 10 to the negative fourth, because 1, 2, 3, 4 brings us back to where we started. And now you can't solve an equation when x is in the denominator, so let's multiply both sides by x. And then we're trying to get uh, x by itself, so let's divide 0 0.00048233 from both sides. I'm just going to put quotes so I don't have to write that again. So what I'm going to do in my calculator is figure out what sine of 77 is and divide it by 0 0.00048233. So that's 2020, I don't know, what does Newton want me to round? 2020.13. Oh, uh, 2020.13. Point, I mean, that's closest. Okay. So it was multiple choice. Okay, so luckily they label these for us. I just kind of cut off the label when I made this picture. But K is something. What is K? K is a large boulder and M is a tree. So it says the distance between the boulder and the tree is 689 meters. It tells us the angle between uh, K and the waterfall. Um, after hiking, uh, after hiking, oh, sorry, Ryan starts by measuring the angle between the tree at point M and the waterfall. So this angle here is 63 degrees, which they have labeled. Um, okay, so once we have all those labels, which I cut off, I think, I think they were in there in the original picture. Uh, what is the distance from the hiker's location at point M to the waterfall? We need to know what this is. So we need a complete pair if we're going to use the law of sines. Right now we don't have it. We've got an angle, but not its side. We've got an angle, not its side. We have an ang uh, We can find an angle here because if we take 180, subtract it by 98, subtract it by 63, that's 19 degrees up there. Um, and now we have an angle in its corresponding side. So we can use the law of sines.
And we're going to do sine of 63 divided by x. I'm choosing 63 because x is the corresponding side there. So uh, let's do sine of 19 divided by 689 in our calculators. And there's that scientific notation again, 0 0.0004725, because that means move the decimal four places. That's times 10 to the negative fourth. And then I'm also going to multiply x while we're at it to both sides to get it out of the denominator. And then to finish getting x, we just divide sine of 63 by that big long decimal. Right, so x is going to be sine of 63, so here's 63, trig, sine, divide by 0 0.0004725. So that distance is 1,185.72 meters.